There we go. So um, this week we're going to look at two dimensional or multi dimensional arrays. Uh, they're in your book after single dimensional arrays. Uh, so we're going to take a look at that today and probably write one program. And basically, I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. Let's see here. Let's do this first. So you should be seeing um, my uh, Excel here. And so it works something like this. So that would be zero. And this would be one going this way. And then if I go this way, So it would look something like that. Okay. Okay. So now we not only have rows, we also have columns. Okay, so this is a 10 by 10. So this could be, uh, I don't know, we can call it anything. Let's see here. Uh, oh, nothing like int. Okay, so now I have enough room for a hundred elements. Or I could store a hundred different things in this array. Okay. Oh, no, I couldn't. Not the way I got it set up right now. Let's see, what do I need to do? I need to move these. And then I would move these, right? Do, 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 do. All right, so that would be there. This would be like that. This would be like that. Okay, so now I could do things like, maybe I wanted to multiply, you know, like a matrix. So zero times zero would be zero here. Zero times one, of course, would be zero. Going across, down, and then all the way till we did nine times nine down here would be 81. But they could be, we could store anything we want in here. We really could. If we made them all strings, okay, let me cut this down to its so it's a reasonable size here. Um, so. And then let's just go two, three here. Three by five makes it more manageable for me. And then we can say here, we'll just call this uh, students. And we'll change it to strings. Now it would be a four, let me be 
That's a six by four, right? Six by four. And so if we wanted to start putting names in there, we could say that um, students zero, zero is equal to Tom. So now Tom goes in here and so on down. You can do zero to be one. Zero is equal to Mary. I'm not going to fill all these in. So the first box here is the row. Second one is the column. And then we could say this here, if we said students, um, zero and then uh, one will equal to and then students one oops one one might be equal to a 97. So this would be 100. This one would be equal to 97, something like that. And then you could keep going. And zero. Two be equal to a 95. Now I'm putting these all in as a strings, right? So I'd have to convert their grades later on um, in the program. What happened there? So this one will be a 95 and so on and so on, whatever. Then I could print them all out by doing something like this. Or if I was entering them, I could do something like this. Let's just say I'm printing them out right now. All I need to do is do a four uh, int count is equal, or no, I'm sorry, row is equal to zero, row. Let's see, what can it be? It's zero through five. Plus and then come down here. It'll be four int column is equal to zero. Does that need to be less than or equal to row above? Um this it's equal to five is fine. Let's see. Well, it's equal to. Won't that run? Won't that not run at all? No, it'll run from it'll zero. Keep... Oh, I guess yeah, you're right. Okay. Or I mean, you can make it easier. Here, let's just do it this way. 
less than six. And this one would be column is less than three or four, less than four column plus plus. And then We could do system and depending on how you wanted to print them, you could do um, what is it? okay, so students row column column. And let's see what else do I want here. Plus a uh, space. Okay. And then we do something like that. And then we would want to. That's for that four. We'd need another out here. Oops. Should over some. So it's over here. Oh, come on. That's good. Okay. So now in here. We just want a uh, system line like that. These shouldn't be print lines. I'm sorry. This one here should just be a print because it's going to print all their info next to each other like that. And then our closing brace here. So what that would do is print Tom space 100 space 95 space whatever the last one is, let's say uh, 96. Then it would drop down because of that print line there to Mary. 97, let's say she got a 98 and then 100. Etc. 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 Okay, because this is a print, so they'd print right next to each other. First time through, all it does is who's ever in the zero row, and so it does the zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three. Then it comes out of the loop, puts in a line feed. Okay, comes back up. The row becomes one. So now we're in Mary's row. Prince Mary, 97, 98, 100, comes out. Whoever's next, Bob, prints all them out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what it would look like. So again, in this case, if I filled them all in, I'd have 24 elements. Instead of 100 here, I'd have 24. How about this one here? <clears throat> if I do uh, string um, I do uh, twenty five. And then something easy, 10. Okay. So 
How many elements would I have there? Seventy five hundred. Okay. So that would give me room for Major League Baseball, 25 teams, 30 players per team, and 10 statistics. on each player. So for example, say I did uh, MLB uh, one zero one zero zero could be could be assigned Melina. Is that how you spell his last name? I forget. And then we could do MLB one one. One, one. That would be Yadi or Yadi. I forget how you spell his name, something like that. Is one not representing the team? Yeah. So this is the team. Player zero. And then the inf 10 things of information. So again, oh, so like, Molina is a team? No. The team would be the Cardinals, probably. Oh, let's see. That's why I thought 100 zero, zero should be the Cardinals or whatever. Well, it depends on what we're going to put in there. Okay, because actually the row itself is what the one. That's row one, okay? And so you're, you, that's just a place, okay? It's not what's actually in there, okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So this is in the first row, the zero or the first, I'm sorry. So if I had two rows here, okay. So I got two rows. This is the one row here. So this is the row I'm in. Then this is the zero column here. And then it's like an old, uh, it's like a card file. On the first card in, is Molina, okay? The second card in, so you have to think about depth here, okay? If you wanted to, you could make the one zero zero, the Cardinals, and not put anything else maybe on the other, and then start with the player on the one, um, one one if you wanted to but in reality it's just that row one represents the cardinals row zero of course would be the cubs because they're a zero so they would be in that row so all their players would be going across and then what they are so this one here would be in the cardinals which is cardinals are one and then for Molina, he's zero. And then the second bit of information here 
would be second. Yeah. Where the third third piece would be equal to he's a catcher. So we do something like that. Okay. So in this drawer, there's a file thing. Okay. On Molina, and there's so far there's three pieces of information in there in that file in this drawer. This is drawer one zero, which is Molina's drawer. And inside that drawer, there's sheet piece of paper zero, sheet piece of paper one, sheet piece of paper two, or a card or whatever. And on each one of those is a single piece of information. And we can put 10 pieces of information in for every player for each team. That any better? Uh, just to make sure I understand. So you're saying that of the three digits for the, I guess, three-dimensional array, whatever you call this, uh, the first digit represents the row, the second, the column, and the third, basically the table, or the first represents the table? The first. last one represents the depth. Okay, yeah, then I get it. I was just confused. Up above, it was 25 teams first, so I was thinking that would be the number. Yeah, so this these numbering here would go from 0 to 24. The first set of numbers is zero to 24. The second set of zeros would be uh, zero to 29. So each team can have 29 players. So I got 25 teams. Each team has 30 players. And I have 10 pieces of information on every player. So if you think of it as a file cabinet, okay, where if you had uh, 25 file, or let's see, what would you have? If you had uh, do, 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 30 drawers going across in a file cabinet, and the file cabinet had 25 rows of drawers, 30 drawers across, you could put 10 things in each one of those drawers about a player. Any better? Yeah, I think I got it. I think I was just, I thought you're setting the table at different lengths. So I thought things were going different places and they were, but I got it. No. All right. So it's just like this one over here. It just has some, then it has depth on top of having um, where you put your information in the column. Okay. Okay. So that's basically how they work. Okay. There's a whole chapter in your book. Take the time to read those. I also gave you some information. Let me uh, stop sharing this and go here once. Let's see if I got it open even. Anyway, in the lesson, I have. Uh, giving you some information. Um, on uh, the only thing screwy about it is if you watch the video, you're okay. If you look at, if you read the thing, when they made the chart, they put and across the top, they put instead of numbers, they put A, B, C, D. It should be zero, one, two, three, four going across the top, but you'll see what I mean. And it's not a big deal, okay? <coughs> okay, you guys ready to program something? <laughs> I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and create a program. Are you guys seeing my screen? Yes, I'm seeing it. All right. So we'll just call it the Acme um, row sort, if I can. I don't know, I might have that used already. Oh, it looks like it's gonna work. All right, Acme row sort. 
So my project is at me row. And this is at sort.java. Today is the 12th of April 21. And purpose. We program inputs three lines of numbers, three rows of three numbers, and then the program sorts. Individual rows in ascending order. So, for example, Let's say they put in five, uh, eight, three, and, uh, one, uh, three, two, one, and seven, six, eight. Sorted. So that's what it's going to do. You have a user put these numbers in, and then it should output the three rows, but sorted. Okay. And that should be good. So we are going to need a import java.utility. And of course, mine locks up as usual. So we sit and wait. You still never figured out why it causes that? You have no idea. Nope. I'm going to have to change it. And I also know I'm going to need for the test uh, utility, we'll need to randomly uh, generate those numbers, the six no or nine numbers. But we'll only use that in the test mode. Get that, do that. that Did I do this all right and we're back to our main and of course we are going to do our Let's see here. Let's do this int. Uh, 
I think I'll create it later on. I'll just declare it here. Uh, and it's the same old song. So we're going to have a switch choice as usual. And I think I'll have a case is equal to E for enter. something goofy. Oh, jeez. Should this be case E? Not better. So we got that. So if everything's right, we should be able to run. And that prints out our message. So that's good. Here, 
above our switch. Now we need to set up our menu. So choice will be equal to set menu. set up our menu. Easy today. Let's just do it this way. All right, so now let's see here. We're going to need some place that we can use a scanner to enter numbers. And we also need a scanner for this um, method. So we're going to create our scanner outside of the main. So up here, we'll just type um, private static final scanner Rubicon is equal to a new scanner of the system in like that. So now we can use it throughout the whole program. So then I can come down here and do a char um, uh, our choice is equal to user con uh, next to upper yeah. dot there. And now if I run it, I should be able to do E. Enter is here. T, test is here, J, only E, T, or Q, Q quits. So that works great.
Okay. We'll come up here and we will lose this and say the user matrix that we described above is going to be equal to set user matrix. I think that's all we need, I think. Before I am. Set user matrix to be outside of the set menu. And we'll call it an int. But this one will be a static int. three by three, I believe. The system uh, print. And enter a matrix of integers. Let's make it, let's try this. Let's make print F. E rows. And percent D. Okay, this one will be matrix dot length, comma, matrix So when we, this is the length of the first index. This is the length of the second index. Okay. That's how you designate which one you're talking about. So in our case, this one will have a three in it and this one will have a three in it. But if this was like a four, this one would have a four and that one would have a three. And then we can do here uh,
again, we're using that matrix size. So if we ever change it uh, to a different size matrix, it wouldn't matter because it would read them and then make these the right size. While not user code, but as next. So we could re-enter like that. Another line. And let's do it like this and then put So then I can come out of there and say matrix. That's not a kind of index. Int. That's right. No, I didn't declare these outside the, so they count.
This one will need a cone. So you will. Okay. I don't know why that's doing that. Let's see if I do it here. Hang on a second. Hello. I'm in class. I'm in class. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, and then we can take out that. We should be able to take out that. And then that went away. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. And there we go. Put the while there. Interest comes there. And then there should be a matching one for there. Hmm, I'm missing stuff, that's why. Okay. Oh, there, all right, that's better. So that one goes there, that one goes there. And then we can go here. Copy that, bring it down here, control V and N. Something like that. Okay, so that'll put in nine numbers or require us to put in nine, I guess. Let's see what happens if we run it. I did put that in enter, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I do an E, so I enter my matrix and I go three, two, one. That ain't right. What happened? Three is not a one. 
No, it's less than. Okay, hang on. Why is that? Start at zero. Less than like. Hmm. That'd be interesting. I go there. Hmm. I had this running. Yeah. It goes there. We come down here. Okay, why is that doing that? Okay, let's see what line. Zero. How can three? I'm not getting the three. As far as I can tell, zero. Anybody see it? Where did yours break at again? 101. Oh, line 101? Or the no. matrix of 101? Line 101. I'm guessing it's that print next line. These can be crazy here, but I think I need that like that. Let's try it again with that as next just. I mean, on my end, it was able to print my matrix. Yeah, why is mine not? I gotta have something. No, it's on 102. Uh, I can also vouch that the program is working for me. Uh, this happened last week. It was something to do with parentheses, wasn't it? I, that's all I think I can think I of. I don't know. So you guys look at mine and tell me why it's wrong. What do I have that you've got it? You followed me and why is mine? We could always send one of our programs and use diff again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> see if you can see it, though. Is it because I'm not resetting these ints? A uh, difference I, I have is on line 91. I just have it as matrix.length without the the brackets with the zero. It's just matrix dot length on the four. But then you're going to be in trouble because if they so weren't both three and three, is. because what you're saying right now is the if you take that out, okay? Understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, if I make this three and four, you'll never get to the four. Instead you're just lucky. Row, why not just put matrix and then in the brackets put row because it's going to keep going up. 
Huh? Row is going up each time. Because no. if it's zero, then it's not going to count up. Yeah, well. It will count up. It this will count up. Column. Yeah. This um, should say row, row, row. This should say column, column, column. Yeah, but I mean in the column row, matrix, and then put the square brackets, and in the square brackets, put row. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, it's not a big deal for this program since they're all, all the rows are the same length, but if you had like- Rows um, in the columns. If, right. Yeah, if they were all different sizes, then you would need to use row in the brackets. Still getting the and then I'm getting some weird. <sighs> Can't believe you guys is working in mine, is it? Um, what was the other line it said in the error? I saw it was like 102, but 102 looks fine to me. Oh, 42. So it's probably that line that's all messed up. It's my guess. That's just the call. Oh, well, <laughs> oops. And that's what I have when I. Da, 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 da. User matrix. That's what I got up there. Set user matrix, and I called it that. All right. Um, So your guys is running and printing it out? Yeah, it gives me the matrix on yep. my end. That's yep. my question. Mine works. So what's different? Debug it. What's different? Did you guys leave the ints inside of these or did you pull them out like this? I pulled it out on my end. I pulled it out. Okay. Same. I mean, it's got to be a stupid something. And you have zero in here, right? I'm using row and it's working for me. Okay. Okay, so this is an extra credit moment. Fine here. You, you sure you don't want to use diff? <laughs> How am I going to get it from you? Uh, email. <laughs> What's this line here? Empty state. Oh, here it is right here. You guys weren't fast enough. Doug doesn't have to give the extra credit if this were. No! <laughs> Ah, uh, but that was one error there. There's the other one right there. You guys sat there and let me type those in and never said a word. Oops. There you go. <clears throat> Two lousy semicolons. <clears throat> All right. Whew. The Doug Peterson typing class. So we have that. We've sent it back up to the top. So now we're going to sort it. Okay. 
So we're going to go in here and we're going to just say this is going to be a void. We're going to say sort matrix and then user matrix. We're going to drop down outside of this one. like that. All right, four. Okay, so we've got something called Lois, and we'll set it as the first number. This is kind of a standard thing where you go in the first time and the lowest number always becomes the first number. So it'll be at row, column. In other words, it's zero, zero. Then, Index two. Or do we want to make that count to da, da, da. Hmm. I'm going to make it index two is equal to column. Plus one. That's right. And then, again, this is something you just have to get from somewhere and Say. And so when I get there, uh, 
I want to switch them if lowest is greater than the matrix row index to And what do I want to do with it? And the lowest becomes the matrix row index two. And then the minimum index becomes index two. That goes there, that goes there. That four is out there. Then in here, if min index is not equal to the column, Matrix row minimum index is equal to the matrix row column. Matrix row column is assigned lowest. Side of that. I think we're here where we need to be. Yep. So then we'll just say system dot dot print line. See if I still got that in. Yep.
I hate when it does that. Why can't it see that when it's right there? Never had so, that happen. Go ahead. Sometimes, I've noticed sometimes with net beans, it gives you false negatives. Yeah, yeah I don't. Behind the four again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess I'm wrong. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. There. Look at how smart we are. Whoops. Okay. That's why I had them in the other one. Let's see, Louise. Let's see if this fiasco runs. runs sorts them let's try it again let's try this okay so that seems to work oops you gotta have a space Seems to work. Okay, some stuff. Let's see, what do we? So we got that, we got our numbers being put in. Excuse me. All right. So we should be able to come here now and say user matrix is equal to set computer matrix. And then sort matrix. So now set computer matrix. So if we come down here. Should go there like that. Still. And I'm just going to go up and copy. Right here, and paste it in there. Control C for now. All right, so now we do this. We can get rid of all this, I think. Blah, 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 blah. there. I think we get rid of. I'm going to come up here and get rid of uh, oh.
side of here. And let's see if it works. So the test works also. <clears throat> so this is what I did with the test. Because there can't be an error because we're generating random numbers. So you don't have to worry about data entry or error messages. See what happens if I do this. See if it works. There we go. Works fine. Ten digits. So that's what a hundred, there's a hundred digit that it's sorted by row. Okay, which is kind of cool. And you could do 20 or more. <laughs> oh, geez. Or you could Just change this. What? Uh, I was going to say this assignment's extremely similar to the sort students one. Mm -hmm. So you can generate numbers between one and a hundred and sort them, I think. There you go. All sorted. So take a look at this. Uh, Again, I don't expect you to memorize this, but just know that there's an algorithm out there to do the sort, okay? Um, and good computer guys copy. Yeah. I seem to be getting errors on my test and I was hoping to see what is going on with that. Roll down. Here's my whole test right here. Now I changed this to 10 and 10 and this to 100 down here. But I'm going to leave it at 10, 10, and 10. Because I think it looks cool. Did you do a dug and put a semicolon at the end of here? Or here? I don't think so. 
Are you saying you're not as stupid as <laughs> No. Definitely yes. not that. I mean, I'm having difficulty seeing any changes. Do you mind if I just share? Yeah, go ahead. Of not letting you share. I think no, I, got I got No, I have to stop. That's the problem. I don't see any problems there. Yeah, I can run it. Oh, see yeah. It. No, no, no. I know what it is. This is, oh, no, that's the set. Oh, go up to set comp. I think got a spelling error. Underline, put your mouse over line 156. Oh, oh it's set computer. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, definitely not smarter than you. At this moment, <laughs> that would probably do it. Let's find out. No, yep, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Matt, what do you got, buddy? Oh, that was it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> put your put your hand down. <laughs> Um, so that's my song and dance. Um, yeah, just, you know, try and understand it, go through it. You know, I know there's a bunch of swapping go around. That's why I said, I don't expect you to memorize that. You look it up. Once you've done it once, you get the algorithm to do it. And you, you know, later on, you, you know, you can figure it out if you want to sit and figure it out. But I really don't expect you to memorize that from, I would never test you and say, okay, write the thing to sort without having some prompt. All right. Um, get stuff in. That's the best I can say too. If you're behind or anything, uh, we're getting down to the end. It's going to come up fast. So hopefully that one will help you this week. And uh, I think the other ones aren't too bad. Uh, compared to this one. So I did put in an extra credit this week. However, okay. um, I think you had, was it last week you had the one where if there's four things in a row, is that from last week or that? Where you determine like somebody puts in numbers like one, two, four, it's four, pattern four, recognition. Four. Yeah, it's pattern yeah. recognition. Yeah, that's from last week. Okay, there's a new one, but this one is, is there a pattern of four in the matrix? And it includes horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. And I'll award, I'll award extra credit on that one. So you don't have to do it. Don't beat yourself up if you don't. But if you got the time and the inclination, uh, it's out there, okay? But it is an extra credit. And if you get it going and, you know, if you have it where it picks up the rows and columns, but you never get it to do the diagonals, you know, you'll get a little bit of credit or whatever. Anybody else? All right. That's my song and dance. I'll see you guys. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Ladies. Thank you so much. Thanks. See you, guys. See you later. Bye. Thank you. Lou, you got something or are you just hanging?